So what is biblical worship? We have all this talk in the church today about worship styles. Should we have a, a band on stage? What should we have? What is the biblical model for the church service? So this is something I'm very passionate about. So I want to do a whole video series going over biblical worship. I just read Scott Annual's book, Biblical Foundations of Corporate Worship. So we're going to kind of take some things from that book to talk about. Um, he's got some very interesting nuggets in there about the Old Testament um, and how it relates to the New Testament church. And I made a short little preview video um, that I posted on TikTok, and I'm going to play that for you right now. Um, and that's going to be kind of an intro into this series. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this. I'd be happy to answer them or put them in my next video so I can answer them there. So until next time, guys, God bless. Christians in America, you need to read this book. Biblical Foundations of Corporate Worship by Scott Annual. The church today has forgotten what true biblical worship is. The early church never had the praise team get up on stage and perform a concert and call it worship. He says a couple things in this book. He says, worship is not simply performing for God. That is what characterizes pagan worship. That there's some deity out there and worshipers want to get his attention, either to appease his wrath or receive some sort of blessing. So they perform before God. He says, unfortunately, some Christians approach worship in this kind of way. We think we are the ones initiating worship and we pray and invite God to come down and join us. And we have a whole worship service consisting of us performing before the Lord with very little, if any, words from God. He says the content of our worship elements must be regulated by the word of God. Paul says to preach the word. He says that when we sing, we must let the word of Christ dwell richly within us. And even our prayers should be saturated with scripture. Put simply, in corporate worship, we read the word, sing the word, preach the word, pray the word, and act out the word. There's much more I could talk about with this book. If you guys want more videos about that, let me know in the comments below.